my name is Arturo Chavez. I was born up near Taos in 1949, and I'm a 13th generation native New Mexican with my roots dating back to 1601 when the first Chavez came to New Mexico from Spain. My family has in our family tree a very rich history dating back to 1601 from when Pedro Durani Chavez came to New Mexico from Spain. Uh, beyond that, back there, it goes back through uh, Christopher Columbus and his parents mm -hmm. on one side, then on the other side, going up to um, uh, Coronado. To know where we came from gives us an idea of who we are and where we're going. Well, as a child, I roamed over the hills of Chimayo and uh, I had the opportunity to hike and climb peaks. And I've known I was a landscape painter since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I went, I had my sketchbook with me. And what, the first opportunity I had, I would pull off the side of the road and I would start drawing and sketching these beautiful little villages, outlying villages around New Mexico. I worked at it 20 years before I understood how to create a three-dimensional illusion on a two-dimensional plane in a realistic view, in a painterly realistic view, which is my style. The z-axis is why I paint. The z-axis is the axis, the illusionary axis that goes into the painting from the picture plane back into space. That's the very reason I paint. I am so enthralled with capturing that illusion of space on canvas, and it excites me every time. I never run out of enthusiasm for that. Once I'm on location and I'm doing my plein air sketch, I take photos from beginning, middle, and end of the session in order to document the changing light and dark patterns and capture the surrounding details, and I use those photos back in the studio. I found that refining my own oil out of uh, organic raw linseed oil, washing it a number of times, and grinding my own pigments produces a much more luminous paint for me. Commercially made paints have got um, finely micronized particles that are uniform in size. And so when light penetrates those particles, it doesn't have the opportunity to express as much as when the particles are larger and of different size. Oftentimes I feel like I've not been able to express enough detail or the subject matter is so grandiose that I feel like I need to enlarge that painting up to a large scale work. I actually view my paintings as uh, musical compositions, basically. has got to have an emotional quality to it, an emotional component. Otherwise, it's cold. How do we do that? How do we get emotion into our painting? That's a magical thing. There's no way to teach that. I've found that going out on location numerous times to the same place helps me to become so familiar with it that I develop a relationship with that environment. I walk up to an area and I, right away, I just start giving thanks to God for it. Thank you, God, that I'm here. Thank you. It's overwhelming to me. Looking back on my career has been a growing process. Each step of the way has been a teaching, and it's all been come together and culminating in who I am today. As long as I'm painting, I'm doing, going through this catharsis process within myself.